Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. It's going to be a what's new in my wardrobe holiday edition. So at the moment I am abroad, a mixture of work trips slash pleasure and I thought I would show you all of the things which are new in my wardrobe which I'll be taking with me on the trips. So I have four trips pretty much back to back and I'm not really going to have time to film too much in between them so I thought what I would do is pre-film this and then I can add overlays of me wearing them in the various locations so I'm going to run through all the items quite quickly but hopefully this will mean that you know where everything is from so when you see it in my vlogs and my Instagram photos etc you know where I pick them up from so without further ado let's get started with what I'm wearing so I'm wearing a jumper dress from the new Ted Says Relax collection which I'm a huge fan of and it's perfectly timed. They have had this collection for just over a year now I think but they've just launched their new products from the collection. It's really good if you work from home and you want to be a little bit more smart in your comfy clothing and also for traveling. So this is actually a jumper dress. I have got a photo um, where you can see it full length. I'll insert that here but I absolutely love it. Super comfy. Also in the collection are lots of other beautiful smart but also relaxed pieces. I particularly love this white top. It's got a pie crust kind of ruffle detail at the top there around the neckline and then you've got that beautiful fluted sleeve of Effect. as it's Ted Baker as you can imagine the quality is beautiful the fabric itself is gorgeous so if you want to look really smart when you're working from home relaxing or on the go then this collection is so beautiful I also have their wake me for champagne t-shirt which I posted on my Instagram last week and I absolutely love this very very true and especially once again on airplanes if they're bringing around glass of champagne you definitely don't want to sleep through that so that's a really fun one and then these are the matching trousers to the top that I showed you a second ago the whole collection I just absolutely adore as part of that I also have a new pair of trainers and these are very cool for me I don't usually wear like fashion trainers um, I found them very hard to pull off previously but because these are so beautifully feminine as you can see that ruffle detail that we saw in the clothing is repeated around the um, heel area of the trainers and then they've got the rose gold little Ted Baker bow and the eyelets they really do match with the collection really beautifully I think because they are so feminine I found them very very easy to wear with a lot of my um with a lot of my outfits and including this dress so this is potentially what I'm going to be wearing on our next long haul flight I just think it's a very relaxed but still an outfit that is very true to my personal style so huge fan of the new Ted Says Relax collection I'm going to continue talking about things that I'm wearing because otherwise I will forget I have a few new jewellery pieces from Astrid and Mew they are a brand that you guys know that I absolutely love I find them the perfect balance between amazing quality and fairly affordable especially I have to give a shout out to their earrings these are I'll come a little bit closer some fairly plain gold hoops and I'm typically not a hoops person but I absolutely love these and once again the quality is amazing I love mixing and matching my earrings but I find that brands even like Kate Spade I can only wear them for a day and then they actually start to hurt my ears whereas Astrid and Mew they are made from higher quality metal. I think this is rose gold plated. I'm not 100% sure though. I'll leave the links to them down below. And my ears never react to these. So huge fan of them for that reason. I also have some new rings from them and I've been trying to find some rings that work nicely with my engagement ring because I don't want anything too OTT that will detract from my beautiful ring but I also still want to be accessorizing. So this one which is um show you a close up there, just a couple of very fine bands and then attached in the middle there you can see you can kind of squeeze it to be any size I feel is the perfect, very delicate but still really feminine way to accessorize that hand. Also from them I have this triple ring. So this is very similar to the one that I'm wearing on my left hand. This is the ring here, the top one that you're looking at. Um, but it has three layers, again with the diamante detail in the middle there. And then this final ring, which you can see is also um, adjustable. You can just kind of open it and close it. This one again is really, really delicate and very simple but works really well if you like to stack and layer your jewellery like I do. I find it perfect for stacking, mixing and matching and beautiful quality. I'll leave the jewellery linked down below in the order that I've mentioned it so it's really clear which ring is which. And last but not least I have this necklace which is a hexagon with this dangling chain which again I think looks really beautiful especially if your outfit is quite simple like this dress I wanted to accessorise but with nothing too chunky it's very delicate and just the perfect accessory for something like this. So as you can see just a really simple style. You 
have the diamond encrusted hexagon with this hanging chain which makes it so so lovely with more simple items of clothing. And then these were a little bit of a wild card. I picked these up from ASOS. They look like little metal faces but I thought with a very bohemian uh, Mexico style outfit I thought these could look really really cool and just very different for me. So because they're a little bit more out there I did go to an affordable retailer and these were I think like £14 or something. So yeah I'm excited to style these up. Okay so now I'm going to go through the rail behind me which is looking very full and this isn't even everything. I also have a pile of clothes on the floor and to the right of me. But anyway so let's start off with a couple of pieces from French Connection. This is a lacy style top. It has got adjustable straps. I thought this would be a fabulous layering piece and because a few of the places I'm going to are very warm it's going to be nice to wear something strappy. And then I also have a dress of a very very similar style. This is more sheer going down. It's a bit of a strange combination of material actually because it's kind of knitted from there and then lace and spaghetti style straps at the top but I thought particularly for our final trip which is Italy which I don't think I will have gone on by the time you guys watch this but I thought both of these would be really really perfect for that trip in particular. I also have a couple of new-ish pieces from Club Monaco which for some reason I didn't show you in the premium high street haul as part of the spring edits. I thought I would show you now. Firstly this top which I'm very much looking forward to wearing on our next couple of trips. It's got a simple uh, strap on one shoulder and then this beautiful over shoulder hanging bow on the other and the material is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite a thick material, very textured as you can see there and this is just going to look so fabulous with white jeans or denim shorts or with a lovely high waisted skirt. So fabulous one from Club Monaco. And then this shirt dress, pardon it being undone, um, I have worn a little bit on my Instagram recently in London so it's been working really well as we move into spring here but also will be coming with me on my trips. Again Club Monaco, beautiful blush coloured material. It's got a cape style back so it's quite like open at the back, great for keeping you cool and a really lovely length as well. It comes to just above the knees so a very elegant length, very practical if you wanted to wear it for work and also social occasions as well. Next are a few very cosy pieces from a brand called Me and M. Firstly this jumper, just a beautiful very good quality plain white jumper, gorgeous knit, it's just very simple, it's got a bit of a detail going on with the way that the stitches are positioned here. This is just so soft, so comfortable and is going to be my travel jumper along with some of the Ted Says Relax leggings so a very stylish, very comfortable outfit for wearing on the plane. And also from me and M, they very kindly actually sent me a couple of t-shirts. These I have not worn yet as you can see from the tags inside. This one I know I will get so much use out of because it is a silk t-shirt and I always say investing in good quality staples like this is such a good thing to do because they are such classics that you wear them over and over again. This this is a size 6, it's got a raw hem, so just really really beautiful detail there. Again, I'll show you a close up so you can see the hem has been cut and left raw. And then it is quite oversized, so should look really really beautiful paired with jeans or again with skirts, high waisted skirts, so many different outfit combinations. This next one also has a silky feel but it's more the top layer, whereas the layer which is actually on the body is a more knitted soft cotton material. It's called the double layer long swing top and again I have a size 6. It is quite long, it's got the silky layer which overhangs so it should be very flattering in that it covers the bum and maybe a little bit of the thighs as well and you can see the double layer, the silk hanging over on the sleeves especially. I have got quite a few new things from Reese but I'm just going to show you the items as I pick them up so no particular order. Firstly from Reese is this beautiful pair of shorts. Now I had a tailored pair of shorts from Reese that I got this time last year and I still absolutely love them and I'm also bringing them to Mexico with me so I know that Reese shorts are a great investment piece. These are more of a silky material in almost a champagne colour and they almost have a kind of suit stripe to them. I'm not sure if you can see very clearly there but they are a little bit striped beautifully tailored, they have got pockets in the side, a zip closure and then also little um, clasps at the top and then you've got these kind of faux pocket detail at the back so they very much look like a pair of cropped suit style trousers. These paired with one of the Me and M silk t-shirts is just such an easy classic beautiful look for spring and will definitely be one of my go-to outfits in the upcoming weeks and months. I also have loads of new pieces from River Island, one of which is this lovely top, I think this is great for upcoming European 
summer holidays in particular, lovely almost shirt style Peter Pan collar, beautiful striped material, love the tortoise style buttons as well, and then it does very slightly peplum out at the bottom, so it should be very very flattering for a lovely feminine silhouette. I think the colours are gorgeous as well, very much like a candy stripe style, looks a bit like a um, one of those candy paper bags. The first swimsuit of the haul, this one is from Ted Baker. I personally feel more comfortable in swimsuits than I do in bikinis, it's just how I prefer to look on the beach and this one is a beautiful white swimsuit with this gorgeous detail in the middle so it is a kind of cut out embroidered detail just makes it a little bit more unusual than a plain white costume really lovely low dip at the back and I know when you want to have your back tanned or just back exposed to the sun it's lovely when the costumes have a really low back price wise this was £95 so it is a premium swimming costume but I think when you are on the beach on beach holidays like at the Maldives you are in your swimming costume all day every Every day so it's definitely worth investing a little bit more and this one I also think is really nicely cut on the legs so nice and high which again I find very flattering and leg lengthening so looking forward to packing this one away for our Maldivian trip another swimming cosy more affordable this one is from Topshop I just thought this pattern was really good fun it's kind of like a zebra again it's cut really high so you should get a very tanned booty very flattering on the bum nice and flattering on the legs as well very lengthening with the high cut once again really thin straight it's got a little bit more coverage on the back but very open on the top area so great for getting a good tan and then I also think that this more square cut detail across the bust area across the um, chest is very much on trend at the moment so a great one from a top shop a few more beachy pieces this is the first beach cover-up this is from Melissa Odebash now this is great if you want to have something that's really good for wearing on the beach but also for smarter things like going to lunch or nipping into town or something because material is slightly thicker. It's got a beautiful elasticated section at the top which means you can wear it really loosely or you can even pull it to be more bardo style. The colour is absolutely gorgeous and then it has almost like a dressing gown style um, tie in at the waist and I probably will wear this first thing in the morning when you just want to put your swimming costume on, put your sun cream on and then mooch around the villa for a bit. I'll probably wear it during those kind of occasions. Something else that's been in my wardrobe for quite a while is this dress from Marjorelle but I haven't worn it yet because I haven't been on any holidays that it's been appropriate for, but I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of it on our upcoming ones. Similar to the Reese trousers, it's almost got a very fine stripe to the material, which I think is really beautiful. Lovely feminine ruffle detail on the sleeves, and then it's very open, so it's going to feel really light and fresh. Hopefully going to be really flattering as well with this waistband, which you can pull in and create a very feminine silhouette. Very light, open and breezy, and then at the bottom you also have this frill detail down there too. So super girly. I think it'll be very very flattering and really nice when you are a little bit more tanned whether that's fake tan or real tan with a beautiful delicate gold necklace this will look absolutely dreamy I am sure so the Majorelle dress and also this one from Privacy Please are both actually from Revolve and this one again has a similar style tie waist detail so should be also very feminine love the colour of this and I was really attracted to the print on this so it's a blush pink fabric but then you've also got a metallic star pattern all over it and I do really like stars. I think this kind of astronomy style print is very much on trend at the moment. And then similarly, you've got a ruffle detail. You can't really see it too clearly, but it's got a bit more of a ruffle detail finish to the um, to the fabric that you wrap around. This style of really lightweight clothing, I think will be perfect for the warm trips we've got coming up. And also because it is longer, it'll work really nicely also for an evening dress. So hopefully very versatile and something that I'll get a lot of wear from. Whizzing back to River Island, I have this pair of shorts, which are really cute, very feminine, very affordable as well. They have a beautiful ruffle detail down at the bottom and a bow style closure. I find that shorts that are lightweight fabric with an elasticated back, especially are amazing amazing for beach holidays because they are just so easy to pull on and off. If you do have a little bit of sunburn as well, hopefully you don't, but it's there is nothing worse than trying to pull up denim shorts. So this kind of short will always be a great one for summer holidays. I was on the lookout for something that I could both tie around my handbag handles and also put in my hair and I fell in love with this beautiful silk scarf from Reese. So hopefully that'll be great for both of the above. Also maybe tying around my ponytail, 
wearing it as a little headband, could even wear it as a neck scarf. Very, very versatile, and just, I thought the pattern was beautiful. Very, very simple, gorgeous colour, beautiful quality material. So that's a lovely addition to my holiday accessory collection as well. And speaking of accessories, I have two new pairs of sunglasses. These are both from World Duty Free, which is by far the best place to get sunglasses because they're far more affordable, you don't have to pay VAT, and if you're there, you're probably en route to somewhere nice and sunny. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend checking out their sunglasses. These these are from Chloe. I actually got these prior to our ski trip, but very excited to wear them on our more summery trips. I think they're just totally ridiculously oversized. I love the colour, love the shape, and I'm beyond excited to get lots of wear out of those. I also have to say I love these little cases that they come in. I think they are so smart. And then this second pair is more kind of stereotypical Chloe style, very Coachella vibes. Hands up who is bored to death of seeing Coachella all over the Instagram feeds. Um, but yeah, love this style of glasses. I think they'll look amazing in the Maldives and in Italy and Mexico, everywhere. And yeah, they're actually really nice to look through. They're very rose tinted. I think they're a lot easier to wear than the other style and um, yeah just a great very statement accessory for the summer bit of a random one but I have found the perfect summer holiday pajamas so I have this lovely set which I think is um, nine which is Savannah Miller range on designers at Debenhams. I think that's where they're from. Yeah, nine Savannah Miller, exactly. So this is the top. I'm gonna just pop the bottoms down. Very lightweight material. It's a mixture of a lovely lace and then very lightweight, I'd say it's cotton. I'm just gonna have a little look. Oh, it's actually viscose, but either way, it's still really lovely and lightweight. I'm definitely gonna cut these um, hanging straps from them, but you have got adjustable shoulder straps, which means that it's not gonna be hanging too low. It'll fit you hopefully perfect and as I said really lovely and lightweight for the top and then the bottoms are equally lovely and lightweight they have an elasticated top so really easy to pull on and off same beautiful material and then you've got a gorgeous lace detail down at the bottom they should be nice and cropped as well which means they'll be a little bit cooler to wear in lovely hot locations but um, very affordable really pretty and just something a little bit different like your usual kind of top shop and river island pajamas I thought they were a real lovely treat from Debenhams so I can't wait to wear those. Also from Debenhams, this I feel is a real beach essential, also actually from the Nine Savannah Miller range. This is a brodery anglais beach dress, the easiest thing in the world to put on when you're on holiday, over a summer costume or bikini, or even just to wear for a day trip to the Mayan ruins perhaps. Really easy to wear, beautiful lightweight material, brodery anglais, um, and then again it's got this lovely pleated frill style um, skirt at the bottom. It's got quite a wide open neckline, a little bit low cut and then you've got some button detail down there so this is going to be my go-to beach cover-up for sure and also some accessories from Debenhams as well I thought these were a really beautiful pair of shoes very good for exploring and because they have got a chunky heel and plenty of straps so they're going to be quite stable for wearing all day also thought the color was really lovely and a nice way of getting my signature shade into my holiday outfits and then I have this round bag I thought this one was much better than a lot of the kind of picnic style bags that you see because it packs flat so really easy to pack and then I also really liked the style of the strap I think it looks like the kind of thing you'd pick up in a local market but actually it was from Debenhams <laughs> I'm gonna show you through a few accessories now and not all of these are particularly holiday focused you could definitely wear these in your home country firstly some amazing designer dupes these are two bags from my favorite dupe website artisan anything both of them are amazing dupes for Chloe handbags of course we have the Nile bracelet bag dupe this is just the most beautiful quality bag the color of this is absolutely dreamy works so well with my wardrobe and a really good size as well you can fit a lot of your stuff in there and it's got the back pocket too and then this is more of a dupe of the Chloe Faye day bag which is actually a bag that is on my wish list at the moment so I'm gonna see how much use I get out of this and then if I think that I would wear it a lot which already I have been doing then I will consider getting the real deal but for now this is an amazing way of getting that look for a whole lot less and also still getting a beautiful quality bag not a really cheap designer knockoff this is a bag that I'll be using
using for my hand luggage. It is a Kurt Geiger handbag, but I think this looks a lot like the Prada style bags. I have been lusting over these for quite a long time. Kurt Geiger have this style on repeat in their stores in various different colorways, but I saved myself a lot of money by getting this from Shoeaholics.com, which is basically a Kurt Geiger, Michael Kors, and a few other brands um, outlet. Highly recommend it. I have a few more pieces from them to show you in a second, but this I was so pleased to get at a discount because it's just perfect. A very classic bag style, really roomy. This would make a great everyday or work bag. You've got the zippy pocket in the middle. It fits my laptop in there perfectly as well. Sticking to the handbag theme, the next one, again a bit of a wild card, but one that I thought was really beautiful is this velvet blue bag from Kurt Geiger. It's got a gorgeous uh, woven scarf wrapped around the handle and also mixed in there is this kind of pearly chain. It's very different for me. I'd be very interested to hear you guys' opinion, uh, what you think of it, but I just thought it was really unique, very different, very eye-catching and quite luxurious and opulent looking. So yeah, a wild card, but let me know what you think. It's got this kind of um, eagle or pigeon style clasp at the front here and once again really roomy enough for my cameras, my everyday bits and bobs, very spacious inside so it should be a very very practical one. But then going firmly back to my comfort zone, you guys will have spotted this already on my Instagram and in my vlogs, my beautiful new Mulberry Seaton or mini seat and handbag. This I was so kindly gifted by the brand which is insane and I just absolutely adore it. It is most definitely my colour. It has this beautiful new style lock for the Mulberry handbags which is very practical. Inside it's not the biggest, it just about fits my vlogging camera, my um, phone, purse etc but not too much else. It's also got as you can see inside the shoulder strap, currently got a pair of my sunglasses in there as well. Beautiful dark blush coloured leather, gorgeous quality and I I think this just goes with so many things in my wardrobe so this is coming with me on all of my trips as well. Now I know this is shaping up to be the longest what's new in my wardrobe video ever but I think I have saved the best few pieces till last. I'm gonna whiz through them but cannot wait to show you this next piece in particular and it is this beautiful absolutely spectacular champagne coloured trench coat or duster coat that I bought from the Covent Garden Restore a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely love this. I'm so excited to wear it. It just looks so fabulous over the top of a very simple outfit or looks amazing over so many things. I've just tried it on with various outfits from home. It's coming with me to wear during our time in Dallas and I think this is going to be my go-to spring just jacket that instantly uplifts an outfit. I like to wear it with a matching waistband, really cinch it in at the waist. It looks so so dreamy. It was fairly pricey, £285, but I think this is one of those pieces that instantly makes your outfit look so fabulous. I love how I look when I wear this and it's just one of those pieces that makes me so so happy so it was very much worth the investment for me so prepare to see a lot of this one. Another jacket, totally different style, this one is from River Island and it is a faux suede jacket, maybe even real suede actually and it has this beautiful tassel detail, thought this would be really fun for Mexico and Dallas in particular, great for just tossing over the shoulders for a little bit of warmth because in both of those places at this time of year it can get a little bit chilly in the evenings but I just thought as a kind of shoulder cape style coat this was really gorgeous a very easy colour to wear as well and a lovely statement piece so that is from River Island. Also from River Island this pair of jeans and I've tried these on with a few different outfits. Love how they look. I find that River Island jeans fit really nicely. They have the perfect amount of stretch in them. I'm just trying to do up this button. And then what makes these so unusual is they have a frill detail down at the bottom so they have a little bit of a kick which just makes them a little bit more feminine, a bit different and they look fabulous with a pair of muled shoes. Something I know I'll wear a lot both in Dallas and on our Italy trip is this beautiful, I have left it open, beautiful dress from Reese. I think the pattern is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful floaty, lightweight material and just really easy to wear. I find dresses in summer are a bit of a dream come true because it's an instant outfit, just pair it with a beautiful crossbody bag and a pair of sandals and that is your outfit done. From Topshop I picked up this jumpsuit. Now I actually have a pair of trousers in this material as well which I love but I thought it was really good fun as a jumpsuit, especially for Mexico. I really like how it's got the four or like 
actually eight button detail down at the front and then again you've got a waistband to pull in the silhouette and this could be a really nice one for wearing on the beach and also in the evenings too so hopefully I'll get a lot of use out of this one from Topshop. Now this top from Reese I have styled with the white River, uh, River Island trousers and I think it looks really great with that. It is this beautiful lightweight blouse in a blush colour. It's got a really lovely detail on the sleeves where you've just got a little bit of very very subtle pleating. I'm not sure if that's really picking it up and then it is a sheer um, blush coloured fabric but then it also has in almost leopard slash giraffe style it's got more velvety um, pink material as well quite hard to describe but absolutely beautiful the more velvety bits have a real sheen to them as well so it's very very eye-catching beautiful and lightweight so great for warmer climates when you still need to look quite smart so if you live somewhere hot then um, this would be a really great workwear blouse I have a few blouses of this style from River Island I thought these would be perfect with denim shorts great for all upcoming beach trips this is the first one little tie detail down at the waist and then it's got pom-poms and beautiful embroidered section on the sleeves really nice lightweight cotton material, a little bit cropped, perfect for beachy outfits of the day. And then a couple of smarter dresses. This is for the party that we have at the conference in Dallas. It is from Needle and Thread, an absolutely beautiful dress. I love that brand so much. Very romantic, very feminine, and I just love all the detail. It's got this beautiful frilled lace. It's got a gorgeous embroidered flower pattern all over it. And then you've got the tiered lace going down to this beautiful finish at the bottom there. So this with a pair of actually my Valentino metallic sandals are going to go with this. That is the perfect spring, summer but fabulous occasion wear dress. And Needle and Thread also do some slightly more casual numbers. This is a lot more boho style in a blue shade, different for me, and I'm planning on wearing this for like nice lunches and evening meals in Mexico. Beautiful, almost like a silk georgette style material with this printed floral design on it. The cuffs on the sleeves go down to create a beautiful billowy style sleeve. Again, you've got a frill down at the bottom, very frilly on the top. It has got a little slip dress inside. But you can imagine how amazing this is going to look with beautiful bronze legs, some nice sandals and a gorgeous crossbody bag. Can't go shopping for beachy holidays without picking up a pair of denim shorts and this is just a perfect pair from Topshop. Not too cheeky, they don't go up the bum and give you a very uncomfortable bottom for the whole day but just a perfect length. These are from Topshop. They were I think around the £30 mark. They are the mom style denim shorts but as with everything they'll be linked down below the exact pair. A nice amount of rip without it being too OTT and yeah just a perfect classic denim shorts. Going back to what I was talking about at the beginning, these are actually also from the Ted Says Relax collection. These are the trousers I will be wearing to fly in on our flight tomorrow, which is to Mexico. They are this beautiful satiny silk material with the elasticated section at the bottom, elasticated section on the sides, so comfortable, nice and high-waisted, and with the Me and M jumper, the perfect traveling outfit. So that is my very chic outfit for our plane journey. And then we're getting to the last couple of pieces now, a few more accessories. This is the perfect pair of sandals from Kurt Geiger, again from Shoeaholics, so nicely discounted from the high street store, but the perfect heel height for wearing all day, every day, beautiful suede style strap and area over the toes, and then they've got this gorgeous scallop detail on the toes too. Perfect color, very neutral, and you know when you just know something is gonna get worn so much over the next couple of months, so that is my lovely new sandals. Two pairs of flats sandals. I think I'll probably save these for our Maldives trip. These are from Topshop. Maybe I'll actually take these to Mexico because they are such good fun. Perfect for that kind of bohemian vibe. They have this straw style sole and then a very kind of rough material for the crisscross effect. Only £29, so very affordable. Whereas these are more feminine, more detailed. £35 from River Island. I find thong style flip-flops really, really comfortable. And once again, the colour of these and the style is just very, very me. So the perfect beach accessory. Another major wild card but I thought you know what when experimenting with trends look to the high street and River Island have the perfect Balenciaga dupes, dupes for the ugly shoe trend. They're really heavy. I'm very very surprised at how heavy they are but I thought you know what I have to give this trend a go but I'm not willing to spend more than 50 pounds so I went to River Island and thought these would be great fun so not sure if I'll be taking them on holiday with me but keep a lookout for me playing around with this trend. From ASOS I picked up this trend from a brand called For Love and Lemons and I've wanted to try that brand for quite a long time after stalking them incessantly on Instagram. This is a beautiful sheer dress long sleeve. Hopefully it'll be perfect style for Mexico. It is very very sheer as you can see but then it also has this bandeau style dress that you wear underneath so you're not revealing everything. 
This was a fairly high price point, so it's gonna have to look pretty amazing for me to keep it, but I'm gonna give it a try. If you don't see any clips of me wearing it, then it means I did decide to send it back, but I thought it was such a good opportunity to try it on ASOS with my uh, returns system, so yes, we shall see. Hopefully that'll be as lovely as it looks on their Instagram feed. Two more things, we have this pair of high-waisted boyfriend style relaxed jeans from ASOS. These have got a gorgeous lace detail down at the bottom, which I think is a really lovely way of making them a bit different a bit more feminine and then they're very high-waisted casual style and I really like the wash of these as well so great for here in the UK perfect for a UK spring outfit and finally <laughs> cannot believe how many items I've shown you in today's video I think I might have set a world record I have this really fun cute little swimming costume from new look I thought it was a really good dupe for the Instagrammer's favorite Lara Vesh it is a white bikini with floral detail on the edges a really nice kind of thin strap for around the thigh, so hopefully very flattering. And then the bikini top itself has got the flower detail on it as well. 3D flowers like the Lara Vesh ones. Fraction of the price tag, so a great little dupe. And oh my God. We are done. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through to the end. If you did get to the end, then leave the word, oh my goodness. Um, leave the word destination in your comment if you got through to the end. And if you have, I'm so impressed. If I can edit this down to below 40 minutes, then I will be impressed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this has been interesting and that now you know where everything I'm wearing in my holiday Instagrams is from and vlogs, etc. Now I have to pack all of this stuff and kind of separate it into three or four different suitcases for the various trips. Wish me luck. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and that you're enjoying the travel content I've been posting so far. That is all from me. All the information in the description box down below, all the links, etc. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.